gang, you alright? Welcome back to the Humble Channel, we're delighted to have you. So, what's going on? Yes, I've been grappling with a certain Geiger Power lad recently. It's Gordon too, he's down there, can you see him? And he's great and everything, but I've been having no end of trouble photographing him. Because of his wingspan, he's like too wide for my normal photo setup. So I had to break out the old nylon backdrops and iron them. I had to go and buy an iron. But they still look like crap, so I had to use a bed sheet. But it still looked pretty flaky, so I went and bought this huge blackout blind thing, which has basically replaced my entire setup, and I feel like it looks alright. We're getting there. What I'm saying is, things are happening. But anyway, today we're going to see what's been up at the P.O. Box. Box 55, well, you know. And uh, we're going to get going with what appears to be a repurposed loot crate. This has come from uh, Jamie Walker. Wow, all my favourite comic characters, he marvelled. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know how to open this. I don't know even where the opening is. Is this the correct point of egress? What do we think of Endgame, anyway? I thought it was alright. I've seen a lot of people saying, like, eh, it wasn't as good as Infinity War. Uh, rubbish. Yeah, fair, okay. But, like, I, I didn't say it was perfect. I said I liked it. There is one thing that crops up in, like, every Avengers movie that kind of bugs the crap out of me. It's like, how are they speaking to each other? They just, like, do that, and then everyone can hear. They don't have earpieces. They're just, like... Steve, is that you, mate? It's hardly the point, though, is it? I'm sure they've got, like, some brilliant Iron Man tech on the go. It doesn't matter, basically, but I always notice it. Any womb? I think we're in there. Yep, here we go. Da, 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 da. Dearest few, hope you're well. It is I who bought the Cyberverse Bumblebee from Brewhaha 2. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I did sell off a few of those Bumblebees afterwards, because it's like, I don't need them. Like, that Power Charge one, I don't need that long term. But, like, I made a point of only selling the ones that I actually bought with my money. Anyway, I've decided to get rid of parts of my collection. Please shout out my eBay. All right. <laughs> so Jamie's selling off his collection. It's eBay JW1997BWFC. Is that Bolton Wanderers? Dash eight. <laughs> well, you gave me some stuff. Well, it's okay then. Okay. Where is Blade? Which is what I was saying during all of Endgame. I was like, where is Wesley Snipes? Okay. Oh no. Oh no, it's Alternator Witch. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, I haven't seen this deco before, at least. I did have this one. This was a, um, actually a major misstep of mine was getting this uh, when I was coming back to Transformers in sort of 2005, 6. They had him on sale at Argos. I've no idea. It was like 14 quid or something. But it was a different deco. It was blue. So I have a feeling these might... God, what a mess. <laughs> okay. I legit hate this figure. Thank you, Jamie, but... Oh. Oh no! But yeah, after I bought this first time around, I was like, mm, maybe I won't do Transformers. <laughs> For a second, it's that bad. It almost put me off the whole hobby. <laughs> Legit. Absolute rubbish. Still, it looks alright with these stickers, doesn't it? Always love Wheeljack's colour scheme. The dense green with the red and the pure white. Oh, speaking of early collecting, freaking EJ Sue's gonna be at TF Nation. That's kind of huge, man, because like very early on in coming back to Transformers, before I even got this, before classics, before the, the movies, definitely before the movies, the very first thing that like sparked it off and like drew me back into the whole Transformer world was those two covers from Infiltration, the one with um, Jazz Prowl, Wheeljack and Ratchet, and the other one with uh, Starscream, Blitzwing, run about an astro train, giant astro train with his hand. I was like, yeah, I gotta do it. I've got those two covers framed in my living room. They're so important to me. So yeah, the man who made that happen, TF Nation, gotta shake that man's hand. But alternator wheeljack, thanks, I hate it. <laughs> oh baby, anyway, where are we at? Ooh, look at this. This is a Grimlock of some description. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, Ugh. Ugh. this is like squirming Zombie Grimlock. Kill me! Alright, let's tidy this up. This has got to be the, um, last night version. The not orange one. The improved, but still weird, ugly, skeletal robo dino. Not a fan of the movieverse Dinobot aesthetic. I kind of like some of the toys from Age of Extinction, like Scorn was great. Purple Slug was amazing. Nice, uh, hollow thingy there. That reminds me of the baddie from Beastmaster with his winged hat. Did he have one of these? I think he might have. I saw Beastmaster again recently, actually, because I saw it as a kid and uh, was deeply traumatized by the, the, the bird creatures that like digest people but like the best thing about that movie is after he figures out that he's got the uh, the power to command the fealty of all animals he immediately uses that power to see boobs <laughs> legend like the first thing he does he just <laughs> creeps on some ladies any whomever yeah, yeah, just hang that up outside a cave beware the forsworn oh no <laughs> he, he got a bitey action oh, that's awkward look at this he's got like a he's got a little uh, wrist twist 
right there, but if you have it in a normal position with the hand like upward, then it won't clip in, so you gotta go around here. The dreaded gorilla arm. Gotta be doing the curls. The dreaded bow. Oh no. Oh, that ain't terrible, is it? For a Voyager Grimlock, it at least looks pretty good in these colors. Me, Grimlock, not be in movie much. Me, Grimlock, disappear after first act. Uh, ooh. Oh. Ooh, this is clearly a knockoff uh, Cybertron Prime. So knockoff, in fact, that his legs are wedged. Come on. Ah, bitch. Well, there he is. <laughs> Ow, Jesus. What happened? Well, it kind of looks like he's got a face. There's little glasses and a little chin. Hello, what's going on? You gotta make your own fun. Truck kind of works. And people say the Siege one looks flaky. Who have we got here? Oh, okay, it's uh, it's Snowcat. Oh, I love this figure. I got him at um, TF Nation last year. He is a very odd boy. I was thinking about doing a little double bill with him and Cyclonus. Mind you, I'm always thinking about reviewing everything all the time, but that is one I would like to do. I think that'd be fun. I gotta do a fun one eventually. <laughs> Cause everything recently has been like, oh, number 200. Oh, gotta do the hot new Siege stuff. Gotta do the hot new Geiger power. Gotta do something strange pretty soon. And that is, <laughs> <laughs> a very odd boy. Flippin', that's actually how it's supposed to go. It doesn't look finished. Got a sort of Star Wars snow trooper thing on the go. Look at that belly. Gee whiz. Oh god, I love him. Pretty far out. The best one so far, and it's flipping snow cat. Du, du, du. Ooh, oh, okay. It's Blood John. Le Bludge. Flippin' Revenge of the Fallen Bludge. He's got the special head on. Damn, look at that. Now we're talking. Some kind of gleamy blue replacement sword. His sword was very flaky, wasn't it? Avec matching, uh, what's this called? Tanto, is it a Tanto? Yoshi Yuki, I haven't played video games for a while. <laughs> so are these like the replacement ones or um, I think it said in the note, I didn't look too hard because I didn't want to ruin it, but it said something about, yes, Banzai Tron weapons. Banzai? Banzai Tron. <laughs> it's the weapons from Banzai Tron and they're a bit better. Because Bludgeon's ones were pathetic. Oh, he's had his fingers off, oh mate. Gotta be careful with these blades, bro. It's a cutter, it's a cutter. Yes, Jamie, not bad. Bludgeon with the special head. That's the nerd equivalent of Becky with the good hair. And finally, we have a, a bag of baby boys. Who's in here then? We have Power of the Primes, Skull Grin, looking very pink and spiky. Jesus, we're getting all the metal band mascots on the go today, my God. Clobber, Titans Return Clobber. That is your Grimlock substitute head. Oh look, it's Little Sky Tread, Way. Seen you recently, mate. We have Titan's Ape Face. This is the coolest and dumbest Titan Master vehicle with the uh, legitimately best replacement face. Love that. There you go, there's a song title, Replace Your Face. Titan's Brawn just trundling through. Oh, hello. It's just metal all the way down today. It's flipping Power of the Prime's bludgeon. Which prime is that? Does it matter? This just straight up looks like one of the pretender monsters, like um, Scowl or Ice Pick or one of those. It's got that vibe, you know? And finally for sale this evening, we have a selection of bot bots. It's the uh, gamer controller one. Looks like Jazz. I feel like he's nowhere near as chill as Jazz though. Is that it? He's very floppy. Damn, how's a toy this new get so floppy so fast? Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Is this that flipping ice cream? Unicorn fella. That, my friend, is absurd. God, it's very gleamy. Is that a little better? Can we see him? Jesus, that poofy brain. That's a transformer. That's a legit cannon transformer now. Oh, bot bots, what are you doing to us? We have Donut Fellow with his impossible to operate face. This one's a pencil. It's like the, the ruler one. It's just way too stubby. It's okay, it's a, it's a thing. It's stylized. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's uh, that's the best I can do on this one. It's a, a tiny pencil fellow with like a ramjet head and some weird little metal-y arms. Okay, now toss me the pigskin. Who is this? Is that his name? Pigskin? Probably not. Oh! <laughs> He's got the war paint on, but he's so friendly and unassuming. God, I love him. He's like Humpty Dumpty. I love you, Egg Egg. Who is a football? All right, Jamie, not bad then. Got a few uh, decent bot bots. Handful of fun little dudes. Mildly broken, but still fairly special bludgeon. Incomplete, but still wonderful snowcat. And uh, a bunch of absolute duffers. Way. <laughs> Thank you, mate. That's really nice of you. My hero. Right, so here we have a package from uh, Shelby Coulter in Oklahoma. Don't think I've been pre-warned about this one. Not so and what to expect. But yes, all that uh, kerfuffle I've had with Gordenter also resulted in me buying an iron. So I ironed this shirt, what do you think? Also, I defrosted the fridge today, whoa! So 
settle down. All right, let's see what Shelby be doing. Hello, Thew. I recently purged my DVD collection. Oh, okay. It's the official Chinese release of the Transformers cartoon. Menus are in Chinese, but it has the original audio. I've been a fan ever since your Weird Wolf review back in the day. My God, that was a while ago. I remember that feeling really special at the time. Thanks for all the joy you've brought me and others over the years. Take care. No promises. All right, Shelby. Let's see what shall be in the box. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. This is very high end. God, this is really classy, actually. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, it's like a tin. Wow, look at this. This is cool as hell. I really hope there's just a ham sandwich in here. Cheeky pendant keyring. Ooh, it's squishy. Damn, girl. Core. This is real slick. Oh, how many discs? You got the movie in here. Flip. Look at this artwork. God, I gotta be real careful with this. I'm trying. Very hard not to split the spine. But you got all this like Dreamwave artwork, you got Sunstorm and Jetfire. Yeah, suffice to say this is a real nice package. Disc 6, disc 13. Chonky inflated Pat Lee Megatron. There appears to be a, another thing here. Da -da -da -da. Freedom is the right of all should you be. I want a shrunk down version of this for my business card. Oh, sweet. Postcards, actual postcards. <laughs> Look at this, man. It's all Dreamwave art again. You got the Dinobots. It's all slightly sort of bleached out. Aerial bots flipping. Grimlock and Cyclonus with the lightning crash. Whoa, Energon Megatron, okay. I thought it was all gonna be G1 stuff. Uh, that art style has not aged well, has it? <laughs> That's not what Sideswipe looks like. What's wrong with your face? Still, I have to say, very nice package, very classy affair. Far classier than Transformers G1 deserves. If we're being honest, I did rewatch a couple of episodes recently and it is not good. It's amazing to me that people are like, wow, this is what Transformers should be like. Blech. What badly made cheesy trash for children. So I think this package may well be the classiest thing about the Transformers cartoon because <laughs> the cartoon itself, we love it but it ain't good. Now, just need to go out and buy a region-free DVD player. Very nice indeed. Shelby Coulter, nice move. So cool, man. This was more of a Shelbyville idea. Bet you never heard that one before. All right, that was quick. Should we do another? I wonder what this could be. Hey, Japan Post, about the size of a Gundam. We've done this dance before. <laughs> Let's see what we got. This is addressed to uh, Thubert the Wise. People do call me that, it's weird. All my disparate groups of friends who I know but who don't know each other, they all just kind of came up with Thubert on their own. It's not difficult, but it is nice. Cool. Who's this? Looks like um, flipping Tarn or somebody. God, look at that artwork. Gundam Voile. 2017 HG Gundam Voile with a kindly old Rod Stewart down here. So he's got like a spiky face and a super skinny waist and giant chunky legs. Destructo hammer, couple of shields. God, that's cool. I had a comment on the last one actually that was like, uh, Gundam Seed, don't say thank you for that trash. It's an insult to the franchise. Shut up. You Dork ass loser. Do you know how lame you sound when you say that kind of thing? It's an insult to the franchise. Blah. What, the franchise that exists solely to sell plastic model kits to children and nerds? Get some perspective. Same goes with Transformers. Do you know how little Transformers matters in the long run? In the wider world, how important it isn't? It's important to me and us, but you gotta, you know, Keep it in context of the actual planet. There's more important things going on than Gundam Seed. Anyway, what I mean to say is thank you. This is lovely. God, that really is tight, man. Oh, look, there's Gundam Asteroth. So uh, I'm assuming this is an uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans dealio. Is this like Nemesis Asteroth? Enjoy the combination with the plastic model of the HG-1-144 Iron-Blooded Orphans series. So if it's not from uh, orphans, it's at least... Oh, it is. It is, it says. <laughs> Yay, thank you, mystery friend. Noah. Is this from Noah? A certain Noah? I think I know a Noah. So thank you, Noah, if it was indeed you. And if not, then you know, general good vibes. That's my rank. General good vibes. Just pop that on the to-do pile. It's nearly as big as I am now. All right, one more, I think, and then we'll uh, wrap things up for now. This one is from Michael, and it contains... Transformers, Transformers figures. Shock! Yeah! Good old fashioned boxer robots, nothing like it. I have this huge complex in my head that like, if I haven't put out a review this week, then I don't get to do an unboxing. 
because you know I can just batch these out. Reviews take a bit longer, obviously. But whenever I get in my head like that, I just think about uh, the guy from Demolition Man when he's like trying to get Wesley Snipes to do something and he's just coming back with sass. So he just snaps. And he's like, just do your job. Good. I'll send you a memo. Just do your job. He sort of compacts that whole phrase into one bark. Like it's not even words. It's just a noise. Like there's no vowels in there. It's just, just do your job. Just do your job. So let's see what has arrived from our Michael. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's the remaining guy of the land uh, and all the rest of them as well. <laughs> Yay, it's all the... <laughs> <laughs> it's all the landfill team. Fantastic. Ah, oh, what is my life? Like, I slowly build up this team from the ground up. Like, I get one, and then I get the other one, and then I get, oh, got one in the box. Brilliant. And then someone just sends me the entire set. Way. <laughs> I am truly not worthy. Verifiably, I do not deserve this. So we have the entire Robots in Disguise landfill team. Scrap Bucket, High Langer, Fat Whitey, and, and Grimlock. And further to that, we have more DVDs. Yeah, look at this. It's uh, it's the Rail Racer gang on the Robots in Disguise volume three and, uh, <laughs> and the remainder. Check it out, it's the Spy Changes, Volume 4, Volume 1 with the Autobot Brothers and Fire Convoy. And some Predacons. Yeah, all right. Four, 12, 16 episodes. I'm sure there's more than that. But you know what? This is great, this is a good start. I have actually seen this, if you can believe such a thing. Animazione. Anno di produzione. Um. Italian? It's PAL, Region Zero, I can watch this, yay! <laughs> Assuming it's not all in Italian. Whole bunch of R.I.D. Beautiful stuff. And further, we have a comic. Dawn of the Autobots, we got Windblade, and uh, the one that has got Skywarp on the front, yay! <laughs> I remember this just being like a random issue of, uh, I think, the Robots in Disguise comic. The Robots in Disguise, IDW, the one that's th that was concurrent with more than ECI, yeah? <sighs> We need some new names. Can we just retire Robots in Disguise, please? It means too many things now. Yes. Very nice indeed. Cheers, Michael. Oh, baby. Brilliant. All right, well, thank you to Michael for that little package. And cheers to uh, Shelby Coulter for the DVD box set. And to Jamie for that little Marvel loot crate of flashbacks. So I'm going to go figure out how to flip this thing works. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. Can't no body rocker Mike like me. <laughs> Random patron shout out! Hey, cheers for watching, hope I've enriched your day to some degree at least. And big patrony thanks this week to Robert Monzeglio. Cheers for your support, buddy. In a bit now. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.